and she placed it in that box so many years ago. After the mini skirt and the mini kilt, some canny Scotsman was bound to minimise the bagpipes, and that's just what Glasgow-born George Alexander has done. It's barely a few weeks since he made the first one at his premises in London, from which many of the man-sized bagpipes are sold. More than just a toy, it has a real chanter, it plays almost like the real thing, and it wouldn't overtax the lung power of a child. Mr. Alexander sells bagpipes all over the world. His main market is North America. So he expects his mini pipes to be a popular new export. In their small way, they should help to beat the squeeze. At home, they'll be selling at five guineas. How about one for the kids at Christmas? You can always ask them for earplugs. <laughs> 